So we're going to present to you the test of a watch and its classic take on a watch. It's, we want to go for something that's usable but simple. We don't want to go too over the top. And if there's one thing Tesla's good at, it's hyping something up. So we're going to try in the simplest way to hype it uh, Recently, we just had a campaign for April Fool's Day where we released our Model W or model watch. Uh, it was kind of a big hit, it was on a lot of news sites. Uh, but right before April 1st, our CEO, Elon Musk, actually tweeted out a little, uh, I guess you could say teaser, about a big announcement that's coming out April 30th. And following that tweet, without even knowing what it was, stock prices rose $20. Uh, so we're really excited to announce this product to the public. Uh, because clearly people are interested in things other than just a car. We'll see. Our watch is the best of both worlds. It's angelic because you can use it and it's great, but it's also a very good looking watch, so why wouldn't you buy it? I'd be a little upset. And you know, we have an Apple watch, an impossible Samsung watch, but our watch stays the same size, so you don't have to worry about a bulky hand. I mean, come on, you don't want to be walking like this. Oh my god, my watch is weighing me down. God damn. You can be in the clouds. You might even be able to fly in the future. Um, some of the features that our watch will have is that it will be very easy to use. Um, anyone from a very tech savvy person to someone who doesn't know anything about technology will be able to use it. Um, it will be able to, you will be able to track your fitness and health on it. It will be able to display messages and notifications from your phone. You will be able to look updates on the weather, and you can look at the statistics on your charging, and also will be able to look at your vehicle, your Tesla vehicle um, on the watch. So features. One of the features that we're trying to include is that you won't even need exit signs anymore. As you can see, it's blank because the watch will do it for you. Why would you want to be able to look for the exit signs? Maybe you might miss it, but the watch can tell the car what to do, and you will never, ever miss an exit again. Oh, and this is another feature that we're trying to make it easier for people with disabilities. For example, maybe they're blind or they're deaf or they're mute. So the watch would have a capability where you could just have a simple microchip implanted on the side of your head and you could telepathically tell the watch what to do and then drive the car as such. Okay, so one of the most important things about any device is now the specs. So we just take the specs and categorize it, and I'm just going to explain each of them as they go. Okay, so battery life. One of the biggest things with watches now that use a lot of power is battery. So for our main model right now, what we're going with is a watch that's able to flip over where you have, you're trying to keep this simple design where you still have a watch that looks like a watch. When you flip it over, it has a screen. So where you can then look at your notifications and things as such. So what we did is that we separated the two batteries. There's a very small battery with a, um, solar panel attached to it, to the, to the part of the actual watch itself, because uh, watch require very little energy to actually work. When you flip it over, then we have a different, uh, more advanced battery that has a very um, complicated cathode iron um, interchanging uh, system that allows for the current to very efficiently be transferred back and forth between the watch, losing absolutely no energy, practically. So it's not powered by magic actually powered by electricity. No, <laughs> not, not saying anything about magic powered watches, because those are amazing. But just still, yeah, yeah, I mean, magic might cost a lot. So um, yeah, so we have this chip, the JW chip. My name is Jeremy Wallace, by the way. Um, the JW chip has allowed for most of the uh, other features to work. So this basically controls the interface. So um, basically what happens is that you're able to process speed, even though the watch doesn't do crazy things like bring out genies and stuff, you could, still, you, you could still process the data back and forth via car very, very quickly. Like she said, if you're getting to a sign and it's only like about 10 meters away, it's able to process that distance very quickly and then quickly indicate that change in your, um, in your car. And then it's also voice activated so you can hear it. So the chip is able to do that. That's, and it also controls one of the Wi-Fi capabilities, which is optional. One of the, um, the features of the watch is that it allows for you to take um, these little Wi-Fi sticks that gives you Wi-Fi. Instead, it's, you can play, pay for a plan, basically, that has it implanted in the watch, and you just click it on, do whatever you need to do on your computer, click it off. 
Simple as that. So in the chip controls a lot of that uh, range. So as far as the notifications, um, it also has a very good synchronizing system, which allows for you to synchronize with your car very efficiently. And also, we were able to get a lot of the other phone companies and data plans on board. So any device you have, you can synchronize any data that's being transferred to the watch. So the notifications comes up, so you can see that very clearly. And it also tells you like gas and oil changes and all that stuff. So we had to do some research and development, of course, due to it being a watch and bringing it to the public. So we did a preliminary research and found that our testers would, would what? <laughs> okay, so our testers would be gorillas because we found that they had a higher IQ than higher IQ than humans that we had. So who knew, right? Monkeys. Well, that's why humans are. Sad. It was more to show that even a monkey can do. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how simple it is. Yeah. So we found that the watch is very animal compatible. I mean, assuming your animal is a gorilla or has an IQ of a gorilla. They're even able to use the car and take it for a test drive. And this is Coco. Coco is the first gorilla to drive the car. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the test watch. Our incentive that we came to was that a baby gorilla would be provided to the first 50 buyers <laughs> so they would buy the watch with the car. Baby gorilla is very cute. Okay, so marketing. We found that social media is definitely one of the biggest outlets to get your products out there. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And we want to make sure that our pictures are diverse and gets everyone's attention. Even people in Africa. And clearly, Hipster's watch went too far. We don't want that, right? The Tesla does it right. Even Snoop loves watches. I mean, look at Jeremy. He came in Snoop today. <laughs> Got his thumbs on. That's it. Hope you buy it.